I hope you're doing good. I just want to say that I love you so much and don't ask why I don't have my mallet again. You already know the story. There we go. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading Capricorn. Now, so if you do rather uh, find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do resonate with you in this weekly reading Capricorn because that's how we keep up with y'all, right? Is through the comments. So as well, Capricorn, I would like to ask for you if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly general reading for you um, to give this video a like and subscribe as well, Capricorn, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. And I'm super appreciative when you guys take the extra step to do that and supporting me in that way, Capricorn. And so, yeah. And then finally, before we get into your reading, Capricorn, I do want to say uh, that I, when it comes to my weekly journal tarot readings, at least to Capricorn, I don't feel like I, they're here to make a decision in your life. I view my tarot readings as some food for thought, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week for, I mean, that's at least what I view my purpose as for the weekly readings are. So um, they're not here to make a decision in your life, Capricorn, because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards right so it would be only unfair it would be extremely unfair for me to tell you how you should live your life when i don't know your life in that way right so with all that being said capricorn let's just get into your reading so let me set up these cards real quick capricorn and then we'll jump into this these messages for y'all so the animal oracle card that stepped up step forward to you for this week capricorn is the mouse card so this mouse card says brings forth the message capricorn that you're overlooking some important details so pay closer attention to what's going on so definitely this is a kind of like a moon energy right capricorn because when you think about this this is kind of like saying that um you need to kind of like you're like look around a little bit more uh pay attention to your surroundings a little bit more because there's something that you know i guess this kind of be when you're thinking about it, kind of an anxiety inducing card because it's just like a sense of where it's just like well like what do i do like you know you say it's important information well velka like how do i get about knowing this information i don't know let's see uh capricorn let's see what cards comes forward what clarifiers comes forward for the mouse card so set these up before my cards go crazy off the table so the clarifiers that we pulled for your mouse card capricorn is the two of swords the judgment card now it doesn't matter if they're inverted or not because it's intuitive reading so don't pay any mind to that uh capricorn and then we have the wheel card coming in for you so i do get the sense that Capricorn, you know, let's take away some of your anxiety, right? You're just like, okay, what is the important information that you're missing out on? I feel like this is not necessarily something that, um, it's not necessarily something that you just have no idea about. It'd be more so like helping you making a, the information would more so assist you in making a decision. So it's more so something that, um, you know, if you feel like, because with this two of swords here in the judgment card, it's like Capricorn, you know, you need to like all the earth signs actually are like across in the road, but, um, you know, you need to make a decision on something, but you don't know, like, you don't know what to do. I don't know if it's like an indecision where it's just like, you're trying to just put it on the burner back burner or, or what it, what it is, but there is like with this message of the mouse card, I do get the sense in, in that, like, if you're afraid of taking action or you're unsure about making a decision still, look around still because there's something out there that you could, that would help assist you in making your decision, right? Because the wheels, the wheels are turning for you. So if you don't see those wheels turning, look around and see if you can find these wheels, um, if that makes sense. Because I feel like your path, I don't want to say it's obvious, right? Because it's so, that comes off as so insulting, right? But I'm sh I feel as if, like, in this type of scenario, Capricorn, it's almost like the path is obvious for you to take if you were to just look at the details of the two paths presented to you. Because one of those paths have the wheels turning for you. Does that make sense? Uh, <laughs> hopefully it does. Uh, so now, 
Capricorn, let's get into your objective card for this week. This is the energy that you're going to be exuding this week as you just go throughout your daily occurrences in life, which you guys actually get the chariot card. So definitely, I you guys are go extremely like once you guys identify like where the path that you need to take, where the gears are, you guys do go forward, and you guys take a lot of make a lot make a lot of ground once you do finally make that judgment call and like where to go, Capricorn. So I really do enjoy seeing this energy right off the bat for you guys. You guys are starting this week out really strong. So it lets me know that with this mouse card. You know, when you think about this, for you to like already have like the chariot card coming in with you paired with this, it's letting you know that once you once you get receive this message, Capricorn, you're just like, oh, I need to look around, and you start paying attention, and you're like, oh, I didn't know I needed to just look at the wheels, right? And it's become so quickly that you make the transition. So, um, just more so, I'm pointing that out, just so again, I'm trying to avoid like the overthinking nature that some of you Capricorns might have in terms of like being like, oh, what is it that I'm missing? Because I feel like it's purely pretty obvious. You just have to like, you know, it's like the scenario of where it's just like, what's like what like someone that's six foot three can see compared to someone that's four foot five. You know what I mean? Where it's just like, it's all a matter of just like needing to like be taller to see like the sunset or be shorter to see like the cat fight that's down below i don't know why that came up this thing does that make you get you guys get what i'm trying to say in that message i hope <laughs> do i even know what i'm trying to say right <laughs> so now let's get into your tarot capricorn you have the five of swords coming in here so there is something some type of um anxiety going on some type of potential doubt um, something that's getting in your head in some type of way, Capricorn. Let's see what insight that we can get for this Five of Swords. How have you guys been, by the way, Capricorn? I feel like I haven't touched bases with y'all in a hot minute. <clears throat> Let me know in the comments. All right, now Capricorn. The cards that we have for your clear as I'm dropping cards. The clarifiers that we have for your Five of Swords, Capricorn, is the Tower card. We also have the Eight of Cups. We have the Eight of Wands. Oh, we have four for you, apparently. We have the Eight of Wands, or Nine of Wands, rather. And then we have the Seven of Swords. All right, Capricorn, how are we breaking this down for you? So, there's some type of doubt here, Capricorn. There's some type of doubt. There's some type of, I don't know if you are... It's almost like this is like an energy, Capricorn, as someone that feels like they're not up for the challenge. Does that make sense, Capricorn? There's something that you feel like you're not up for the challenge on. You feel like it's going to crash and burn in your face. And so it's just like you're almost avoiding some type of challenge in your life. Um, I don't want to say you're avoiding it, but with this Five of Swords, you're like, you're already kind of convincing. Your, it's like, it's one of those things, Capricorn, where it's just like, you want to sign up for a competition, but then before, like right in the middle of you in the waiting line to sign up for this competition, you kind of convince yourself of a narrative of where it's just like, you're going to fail right off the bat right and so or like maybe just like the idea of like the responsibility that comes with it is too overwhelming for you and so you kind of just like put distance between it even though it's like such a good thing right it's interesting this message capricorn because it's like this is like you letting your inner saboteur win <laughs> I'm like really observing these cards because it's just so interesting to me because it's like in this dynamic Capricorn, it's like I know for like you obviously don't know how you're going to hand like what the result is for a competition, right? But in these cards, it's so interesting to me because it's like with this Eight of Cups dynamic, this lets me know of where it's just like you're walking away from something that like you're walking away from eight filled cups. Whereas like if it was like a I feel like it's this Eight of Cups is very intentional for you, Capricorn, because it's like we could have pulled like the Six of Swords instead, where it's just like you're putting distance, right? If you wanted a distance card, it's just interesting that you're putting, we get the distance card where it's just like you're putting distance between you and eight filled cups. And normally, 
when you have this card, it's like making a transition to bigger and better waters. But I don't feel like it's that way in this sense. And I feel like also as well with the moon card, didn't I even say with the mouse at the beginning, it's kind of like a moon energy where stuff that's going unknown that you need to like get some more information on, right? The, the moon card's following you. So that's why it's just interesting to me, uh, Capricorn. It's just interesting to me because it's just like showing to me as like a reader observing. It's just like, oh, Capricorn's kind of just like letting this inner voice, this thing that's like sabotaging that gets in their head, that makes them insecure, they're letting that win. Whether it's just like their own inner saboteur or whether it's even also just in their environment and the people that they, that Capricorn surround themselves with that puts that doubt in them and making them to feel like they wouldn't be able to handle it, right? It's kind of like someone, random example, but it'd be like you trying to move out of your parents' house, but then your parents um, start psyching you out, being like, talking about being like, oh, it's so hard, for, like, it's so expensive to like go out on your own, which spoiler alert, it really is. But, <laughs> you know, they kind of like spook you out from it because they make you feel it's like, oh, am I not ready to move out, right? Where it's just like, so it's just like, you're already right there about to like receive those eight cups by moving out, but then you kind of end up making the choice to walk away and kind of just crash and burn this whole entire thing because you're just like, you know what? You somehow end up convincing yourself at some last moment that you're not ready and up for the challenge, um, that you wouldn't be able to handle it. That'd be too overwhelming for you. But it's just like, initially you don't have those thoughts. So it's just like, why are you letting this voice win, these voices win? Capricorn, you know, just something I'm observing, right? Uh, but I'll move on from it, I'll move on from it, okay? I'll move on. Uh, we're gonna break down the star card next, though. So, because I do feel like this is kind of relevant, I feel like that star is the thing that, like, you want really badly that seems unattainable, so, like, moving out. So let's see what clarifiers we have, we have for this. So the clarifiers we have for your star card, Capricorn, we have the Two of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Capricorn, at some point, like every single, you have to kind of realize that every single time that you talk about moving out, we're just gonna use that as the example. Um, every time that you talk about moving out or you start getting ready to move out, Capricorn, you kind of just have to accept the fact that you're going to have those self-doubt, that inner self-doubt where you're just like, oh, maybe I wouldn't be able to afford it or whatever. Because that's just life. That's just experiencing life. That's what happens when you go out of your comfort zone. That's just, it happens to everybody. I'm not trying to downplay your experience, Capricorn, but it's just like, we all experience these type of things. And so you're really just doing yourself a disservice because you can't avoid it. So it's just like, you kind of have to just learn to lean in with it and like learn how to move maneuver through it. So it's like, even if it's like an outside source where it's like your parents are always going to tell you and spook you out. Hey, at some point you kind of have to like realize that you have to let go of that baggage because this is what's weighing you down, right? You have to learn how to stand up for yourself, take it, take matters into your own hands and realize that you have to be the one to take steps towards your own future, right? You have to kind of make that decision and be like, Hey, like at some point, right, you can't allow those fears to just keep you holding you back forever. At some point, you have to leave shit. You have to leave the station. At some point, you have to leave, like, you can't just wait forever for the waters to be completely still before you go out sailing. Does that make sense, uh, Capricorn? Because the waters are never, spoiler alert, the waters are never completely calm, right? So... And the thing here is like this star, this thing that seems so unobtainable, seems so impossible, so far away. It only is so far away because you keep standing there rather than making any ground during all this time. Time passes for you, Capricorn, but it's just like you're not making any forward movement towards it. So that's why it seems so unobtainable. It's not actually that unobtainable. You just psych yourself out for whatever reason. So now, Capricorn, let's get into your Temperance card. Let's see what's up with this, right? Why is this Temperance card here? These cards, I feel like we're meant. So we'll just do two more. Or one. Huh? <laughs> one of the cards fell onto my cat, Tulip. <laughs> so, clarifiers that we have for your Temperance card, Capricorn. We have the Judgment card coming in for you. So didn't we have the judgment for you already as well? 
feel like we did. I can't, I'm not gonna waste y'all's time too much more trying to find this. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I'm not crazy. <laughs> so yeah, judgment card's following you. So it's again with action. So I pointed out more so where it's just like, it's all reliant on you taking action. So yeah, judgment card coming in for you. And then we have the Hierophant coming in for you. And then we have the Ace of Cups. Very interesting. Which makes sense, though. And then we have the Knight of Swords. So Capricorn, with this Temperance card, this is all about... This is all about kind of just acknowledging the journey ahead. This is all about being like, you know what? Yeah, well, I said, I feel like I said this is the Knight of Swords. I meant this is the Knight of Wands. Um, <laughs> so I apologize for that, Capricorn. At some point, Capricorn, you, you have to acknowledge that the only way going forward is to take action and if you feel like if you're experiencing anxiety if you're experiencing fear either a learn how to work around it or b learn how to gather more information or just trusting your trusting in yourself more to be able to handle the situation right but with this ace of cups and this knight of swords i mean i keep wanting to call this knight of swords for some reason ace of cups and this knight of wands with this temperance card Capricorn this is such a dynamic of where it's just like you know you've been waiting how much longer are you going to wait uh Capricorn this is such an opportune time for you and I don't know if the situation is going to get any like I don't want to say like your situation is never going to get better for you before like should you wait in making the decision but I kind of get the sense that you're never like you're never going to feel it. It's never going to feel quite comfortable for you to make them. As I said before, it's just kind of like that same repetitive message. So let's continue on to your seven of pentacles, your final card. Let's see what's to come, right? Let's see what happens if you were to make that judgment call and finally just go forward, Capricorn. Let's see what's up with you, this. Mm -mm. Okay. So the three cards that I pulled for your seven of pentacles, Capricorn, is the nine of wands, not the nine of wands, the six of wands, which is the victory card, spoiler alert, the eight of wands, a lot of fiery energy, and then the king of cups. So Capricorn, the, with the seven of pentacles, this is a dynamic of kind of like... How would we put this? It's showing to me that once you are able to like trust in like your own resources, like and what it is that you works like built in with yourself, and it's like once you are with, basically, we'll put it this way, uh, Capricorn. Once you're willing to bet on yourself, that's when the victory happens, and I feel like you'll get such a sense of release. Capricorn, once you actually take that chance and sign up for that competition, once you stop ignoring, like, once you ignore those, that Five of Swords voice that was just giving you anxiety, that was stressing you out, right? Once you finally just allow yourself the opportunity and grab up at the opportunity rather than just saying you're never worthy of the wands or that you would never be able to get to those Eight of Wands, like, give yourself this chance and you'll be really surprised by the victory that cat happens with it. And it'll be extremely fulfilling for you. <sighs> Capricorn, really, like, this is such a stereotypical reading of where it's just like, you are the direct responsibility for blocking your own success in this way. I feel like this, you're... <sighs> I feel like you just don't acknowledge your own potential fully. And I hope this reading somehow gives you a wake-up call for that. I hope this reading... Kind of makes you start considering another avenue in the sense of like how you view yourself view yourself in a better light view yourself ready and up for the challenge be willing to bet on yourself capricorn but uh yeah that's the tarot cards that i have for you for this weekly general reading for you capricorn if you enjoyed this reading be sure to let me know in the comments below uh and also i also do all the zodiac signs and for not just capricorn weekly readings so if you have a friend that's interested in tarot be sure to share my videos with them and give this video a like and subscribe but until next time capricorn i love you so much bye